Hey guys, we're going to talk about the external male and female catheter options that we have in the department. So the first one we're going to talk about is the external female catheter called the Prima Fit, also called the Shiwi. I think everybody's got a different kind of nickname for it in the department. The nice part about this is that when you document it, it's under the external portion, but when you explain it to your patients, you can tell them that nothing's inserted, it's low risk for infection, um, just about any patient can be placed on it. And so this is what it looks like when it comes out of the packaging. It's got a leather side on one portion, and then it's got a porous cushion side on the other. So when you put it in the patient, make sure that the porous cushion side is placed in between the labias and it's sitting on the urethra so it can catch urine. This is really good for your patients who um, dribble, may have some incontinence issues. For patients who um, intentionally urinate in the bed or give a lot of pressure, it can leak around the side. So make sure you just put a chuck underneath the patient just in case there's any issues. You're gonna place it and you're gonna curve it to your patient's um, size and shape. Then when you have it in the proper place, you're going to take the adhesive stickers off of this portion here and you're going to stick it across the top of the patient. There's an area here, please make sure that you date and time when this is placed, especially if your patient's gonna be admitted so that the floor knows how long it's been on and how long it's good for. After you place this on your patient, you're gonna hook it up to suction tubing and you're gonna put it on low continuous suction. Make sure that you check the area regularly just because you put this on the patient doesn't mean that they didn't have incontinence issues while they're laying in bed. Um, and then you know the patient's at high risk for skin breakdown, um, those kinds of things. Now we're gonna talk about the male external catheters. So we do still have condom catheters in the hospital, but we also have these really nice ones for the male patients in supply in the same place where we keep the condom caps. These are um, safer for the patient, male patients because it causes less skin breakdown, especially around the head of the penis. What happens with the condom catheter is that a little bit of urine can sit on the inside of it and then it starts to break down the patient's skin. Inside the kit comes a couple of different pieces. So the first thing you want to do with the patient is you want to clean them with the alcohol pad first. Make sure that they don't have any skin breakdown issues already on their penis because then it's contraindicated to apply adhesive to it you're going to be at a higher risk for infection or an increase in their breakdown. Then you're going to use your barrier cream around the head of the penis and down the shaft just to make sure that it stays sticky. If it gets wet while you're trying to apply this, then this won't stick to the patient. So make sure that they're not actively urinating or having some dribbling issues while you're trying to put it on. So this is what this portion looks like when you take it out of the packaging. You're just going to sit it on the head of the penis with the sticker, making sure that the urethra lines up with this insertion portion on it, right? See that little line right there? You wanna make sure that the urethra sits in there. Once you put it on the head of the penis, you're gonna bring your little petals down like a flower, and then you're gonna wrap this piece around, making sure that it's secure. Now, you gotta hook a drainage bag to this end here, which you can grab just a regular Foley bag drainage, and you're gonna put that and connect it in here. It also comes with its own stat lock so that you can attach it to the patient's leg. And then you're gonna to continue to monitor your eyes and nose for your patient. Again, same for your female catheter or female um, external cath patients. For your males, just because you have an external cath in place doesn't mean that you don't have to check their skin on a regular basis or make sure they haven't had any incontinent issues um, in the bed before sending them upstairs or discharge. These cannot go home with patients who are being discharged um, and if possible, put a date and time on the stat lock so that the floor knows when you've placed the external catheter. Again, if you guys have any issues, just ask the unit supervisor, charge nurses, um, TNSs, or Kara if you have any questions.